Wow, that's a big old puppy. <sighs> Good morning, guys. Um, Sawyer and I are gonna go grab coffee and start our day. Um, we have a fun day planned. We have, um, did you know our chairs come today? No, I did not. Oh she gosh. is getting huge. Oh my gosh, guys, this is Maple, our four month old puppy. If you're new here, this it's is Ollie. all over scale. Our 13 year old puppy. Everyone gets confused, they're like, your puppy's so cute. I'm like, no, 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 This is the That's puppy. the puppy. Anyways, good morning. It is a Tuesday. We're getting some things done around the house. We got all the things we needed for the porch swing. Um, so that's gonna go up today. We got our chairs coming in and some more house to do's, but that's, you know, that's life right now, setting up oh, the house. Oh yeah, it never stops. It never stops, but it's fun. I like it. But you haven't shown the fence and yard, have you? No, 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 so we'll do that today. That'll kind of be Just a, wait. a house update. Um, but first we're gonna start off the day by going to our favorite coffee place in Vero. It is the best coffee it in is, the world. Oh, it's, it's it is good. worth it. <laughs> it is really worth it. All right, let's go grab coffee. Little downtown Vero. It's actually quite cute. It's packed today. There's our coffee shop right there. Here, are, here are in downtown Vero Beach, the elderly come to get their coffees. What did we just witness? Oh, we just watched uh, AC dude almost just truck some 80 year old person. Ran a red light just, like I had never seen. Like deliberately just almost t boned somebody. People are notoriously bad drivers in Bureau because they're extremely old or extremely not paying attention. Yeah. We're getting coffee now. Stop for coffee. Oh, go ahead. Go first. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. That makes me feel so special. Which no. Coffee, right? <laughs> which coffee do you use for? Yeah. What's the espresso? Espresso is going to be juicy part. We usually do have there, but right now we don't. Okay. Okay. Cool. Because it is just, it is great. I think most of our conversations revolve around talking about the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> she was just telling me about Maple sleeping yeah, and how cute she is. Habits. She made it through the night last night. I'm really proud of her. Yeah, she's do she's honestly doing great. Our 13 year old dog, Ollie, Ollie Pants. He's doing good. He's doing good, but no, he's had the most accidents. I seriously, doing knock great. on wood, yeah. hasn't had an accident in the house. No, I know. That? Yeah, I mean, honestly, even I woke up this morning and I accidentally kicked her and she just like looked at me and then went back to sleep. Oh, when she sleeps, she sleeps If that hard. had been hit, she would have been awake. <laughs> oh, yeah. That had been it, we were up for the day. <laughs> but anyways, coffees have been retrieved. I'm serious, if you're ever in Vero, you gotta get one of these. 1420? Like 1420, their vanilla latte oh, is so one of the best I've ever had. So, now we're gonna head home and get our day really started. We got coffee in the system, doing good. Driving around a back street I've never been down before, even though I grew up here. I really like this town, just a little. Really? Yeah, I really do. I think it's- Vero's okay? Vero's okay, guys. Vero is okay. okay. Hi, Oliver. Come on, let's sleep. Hi, Pants. Look at Beyonce. Look at oh. Look at those ears fluttering. Hi. Hey, Beyonce. Hi, Maple Tea, Maple Tea Mapes. Hi, Maple. So I don't know who needs to know this, but whenever you live in a humid place, you get condensation on every glass cup, anything. So whenever you get like a nice coffee or cold drink, switch it over to like a double line mug and your life will be much easier and your furniture will thank you. So just a little random tip for you there. My point is coffee is now in here. <laughs> so before we get going on all the little random house projects today, I wanted to finish getting ready. And I actually blew out my hair because we're gonna do my hair today. And I haven't done it, like actually done it in months. So it's gonna feel really nice to feel put together and have my hair done. And I'm even more excited to say that I have teamed up with Beach Waver for this video to share with you the one inch Beach Waver S1 ceramic iron. And for those of you that don't know, this is such a fun tool because it actually curls your hair for you. So if you're somebody who has a hard time like achieving that beach wave look, this is your guy. So the buttons are very, very intuitive. At the bottom you have the power and you can turn up the temperature less and more. And then up here, you can actually rotate the iron like so. And then if it happens to like, you know, end towards the back, you can just hit 
home and it returns to the front. And then on the side, you can select whether it is rotating fast or slow. I'm gonna keep it slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do a few pieces so you guys get the idea. And then I'm gonna power through the rest. So before we do that, let's spray some heat protectant. So whenever I curl my hair, I like to grab like about an inch section. I'm gonna put my hair in at the bottom and rotate it up. I'll let it sit for a few seconds and voila. So my tip with these front pieces is to only put it about halfway in, if that makes sense, because I like when the ends of the front are a little bit more straight. So then I can pull it through like so, giving it a little bit more of a relaxed look. My little trick is to let the curls set. So I won't brush these out until the end. So I'm gonna continue on real quick and just power through the rest, and then I'll show you guys the result at the end. Okay, the curls are done. I'm gonna let them cool down for a second because I just finished this side, but I just cannot believe how intuitive this little tool is. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm impressed. Guys, that's crazy. So I think it's safe to say that we are officially ready for the day now. I feel like I have definitely achieved the beach wave bombshell look like, yeah. We did it. <laughs> I am going to link this exact tool down below and Beach Waver was nice enough and gave us a code. So feel free to use 20 Angelique for $20 off of your purchase. I'm ready now. Let's go run some errands and put together this house. I think we're gonna stop by maybe like Salvation Army and then go to like that cute little vintage place right here. And I don't know, just do a little bit of a, little bit of some groundwork. Do you want to join? Gourmet meal brought to you by Angelique. We have some leftover French dip that I broiled in the oven. And Karen's on her way to come get us. And we're gonna go do a little shopping. While we wait for the chairs and for it to cool down a little bit so we can do the porch swing. Lots to do today. Those are my dining chairs, I'm so excited. <laughs> Karen and I are gonna go run some errands. We're gonna go out shopping and Sawyer's going to build our front porch swing. He and trusted me with this. Yeah, he's going to build our front porch swing and when we get back, we're going to hang it together. Oh, Don't go. No, I'm going to hang you're it. Gonna, so you're not without me here. I'm going to try. Oh, he wants to get it on a ladder without anyone home. So I guess I love you and I'll it, see you on the other side. It okay? adds to the danger. Yeah. All right. He's living on the edge. I'm going shopping. Thanks, baby. I'm so excited. Give me I a love kiss. you. Come on. Okay. Bye. We'll be back. Eighteen minutes later, this proved to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, primarily because I didn't follow the instructions and I used every wrong screw I could possibly do almost twice. But we're ready to hang it. So I'm making the straps for the uh, tree swing type thing. Uh, but Angelique does not want orange, so I have gone and colored over what used to be orange on all of the straps with a Sharpie. Uh, not gonna lie, I am definitely afraid of falling out of that tree, but I already told Angelique I want to do it, so now I definitely have to do it. So, see how this goes. Okay, so we're making a stop at one of my favorite little consignment stores. It's called the Consignment Gallery. I've come here now almost a couple times a week. Just, I can't even tell you guys how quickly things like replenish and sell here. So we come back quite frequently to see what they have. And this is actually where we found the dining table. Like, look how cool some of this stuff is. It's so random. But yeah, I have to remember too. Karen and I remember this last time or thought of this last time. We have to remember to look up because they always have such cool light fixtures and chandeliers that most of the time I forget. Hi, buddy. And this one has a cute little doggy. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's see what they have. So 
so no luck there. <laughs> but we are stopping at another one. It's called VNA Hidden Treasures. So the thing with these stores, you just gotta keep checking. You never know what you're going to find. We were just talking about that in the car with like Goodwill and Salvation Army. You just gotta keep going. Ooh, that one's cool. Huh? We're collecting decanters. So little tip, whenever you're in like a vintage or thrift store, always check the artwork. That one's really cool. The colors are a little dark, but just the sheer mass of that. Wait, Karen, how much is that one? 55, the frame itself is worth it. Yeah, that's, and it's a real painting. I found my treasure of the day. Look at this big pepper grinder. I think there's more of an official term for that but look at, that's my head. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. It'll go in the dining room or like on the display cabinet I'm gonna put in there, but that is just so cool. I'm very excited. You know what makes thrifting even more fun? Is when you get up to the counter and they say it's an extra 25% off. I just got this thing for $6. It's a good day. I think thrifting's more fun if we have sewer as well. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> At six dollars though, we don't need it. <laughs> I told him not to do that without us. Look at him. Even his mother's gonna yell at him. Aren't you gonna think these straps are long enough to get around the tree? I'm gonna try, but I wasn't about to get on this ladder by myself. You guys wanna come hold it and I'll try? Yeah. That is awesome. It is so cute. <laughs> so we are back from running errands and checking some of the stores. I did not find much today except my wonderful pepper mill. Found out the name of these. It's called a pepper mill, but how great is this? Like, I feel like it's like Olive Garden status, right? But just like the detail on it, I just think it's so cool with like the antique brass at the bottom. So I'm really proud of this for $6. We are going to now set up the dining room chairs. They just arrived. Hi pants, I know you're about to bark. Uh, but they just arrived and they're super easy to set up. I actually had the bar stool version at the last house in Hawaii and I just loved how simple and classic the spindle chair looked. And I just wanted something a little cleaner here. I had gotten these at a thrift store, let me show you. They were $10 each and it was a wonderful find. Um, they were already updated as far as like painted black and somebody had already switched out the seat cushion and refinished it to like a ticking stripe. They're a great find. I just wanted a little bit of a cleaner look in here. So I'm excited to set this up. So we're gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna decorate this week and everything will come together. And I need to get curtains, but one step at a time, let's build these chairs. Chairs are built. Let's put them around the table and see what you think. I really do like them. It was just a sec. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I think this is a lot cleaner and simpler. And I think once I get the seat cushions on, oh, actually, don't go anywhere, sorry. You guys can help me too. I have three options of seat cushions. Can you tell me which ones you like? Okay. The first options are the ones we already own. Uh, we had these on our bar stools. Look very thin. Yeah, that's. I thought these would look maybe a little cooler, a little more of a statement. Option one, they're really sat on. They're really sat on. <laughs> hey, are you helping? I don't think that's helping. Option two is a tan and black, thicker stripe, thicker cushion. Option three. 
are these? Not like that one. Really? Yeah, well, because there's no buttons. These buttons might hurt. Oh, yeah, that's not comfortable. Let me? It's like sitting on someone's thigh. Is it? Is it too big? It's very hey, off Hey, um, I need that tag if I need to return these. Please <laughs> don't, Drew. Actually, these are the ones I was going to return. But, yeah, hold on, let me touch. It looks pretty plump. It Maple. Is very plump. Oh yeah. Oh. That's like sitting on someone's thigh. This won't work. Okay, so they, stop eating that tag. These have to go back. See, these might be nice once they get sat on and kind of squished down. Because we already have that ticking, so we can keep these as an option. Okay, I think we're gonna go with these. I think they were like twelve dollars each, or twelve dollars for a set. So um, I'm gonna return these others. These were actually the ones I thought I was gonna like. They are a no go. So. We'll wait for these to flatten out, but I think these will be good in the long run. Cool. Okay, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. We will flatten the cushions a little bit, but I think once we get a little table decor up here, I like it. How do you like it, babe? Looks great. Right? Can you imagine it with like drapes with a black rod? Everything. You can. <laughs> and with the small thing over there. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do that. We'll do that later this week. I think we put that cabinet here just for now. Um, and see, I feel like we'll be moving a few things around. We found this really cool vintage cabinet and it's a little shorter, it's really cute. We can decorate on top of it. So it arrived a couple days ago. So probably in the next few days, we'll put it there, but it's coming together. Yeah, I like that. Yay. Oh, I can't even tell you. These chairs are out of stock. And I was waiting for like, well, a month, a month for them to come back in. And they did, and they look great. I love them. I love them as the bar stools. I love them as the chairs. I'll be sure to link them because they are just grand. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Okay, something I've been needing to do is treat our butcher block island here. And I just use cutting board oil, but I need to clean it first and then treat it. Um, it's just. I wash it quite a bit because it is used and so I don't want it to like dry out and I think you're supposed to do it like every quarter at a minimum but I want to keep it as pretty as possible so let's give this a good little treatment here. So I've looked this up, there's a few ways that, that you can clean these. Um, there was one with like vinegar and lemon. Um, there was one that also just said use a sponge with dish soap and then rinse it. So that's what I did. I find it works fine. If you have another tip, if you have one, please let me know. I just went off the internet. This is my first time with the Butcher Block Island. So yeah, let me know. So I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then we'll just put on the cutting board oil. And yeah, we'll get this a little bit of a some love, we'll get it some love. So I heard just went and got maple, a frisbee. Let's see what we got. My dad said his dog loved it. You want it? Go get it. Whoa, it's a curveball. Look at her prance. That is, oh, quick potty break. <laughs> it's been really fun having a larger backyard, especially with the dogs. It's just been really special to see like Ollie running around. He looks like a little bunny hopping through the grass and then Maple just totally tearing it up. It's just been really, really special. Yeah, we're, we're really happy about it. I just take the cutting board oil and a old dish rag and work it in to the... Good job, that was fun, huh? Oh, let tell Grandpa. That looks so much better. And it actually hides a lot of the imperfections. So highly recommend to treat your wood. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick little like home update. I feel like the, are we still fogging? I don't know, it's, it's so hot bit. and it's humid so hot. outside. Okay, yeah, good enough. All right, so a little quick home update. The next big project that we just finished is our fence. He has like a few last final tweaks and like pinning it all into place or nailing it all into place. Yeah. But like, we have a beautiful. beautiful fence. And I know when we like mentioned it to you guys, like it was a big project. 
it is a big project and it's finally but done. But it's a big project that was done. So yeah. it took a month instead of a week, but it looks incredible. Like it's so cute. It's the perfect height so you can see over it. So it doesn't block the yard. From the front yard, you can see the backyard. And from the backyard, you can see the front yard. We wanted something to enclose the dogs, but we didn't want to like block out the whole surrounding. Yeah, we don't want to block out our front yard. Yeah, so. Because I... we also put something else in our front yard. Oh my gosh, it opened. I tested it. Did you test it? There already? we go. Yep. I'm very, very happy with it. So that was one of our biggest additions that we did to the house, like right off the bat. But the reason I wanted to come out here, I know you guys already saw it earlier, but I wanted to show you guys like the final product of the swing. The or swing the and the gate. Yeah, swing and the gate. Outdoor stuff. Oh, this is nice. Hi. Yeah, this is adorable. Yeah, it's like trick or treating in daytime. Yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You got your hands full there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so hot. I saw your YouTube video recently. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh. I was like, sounds like you're talking about my neighborhood. That would be really crazy. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. You said Theo, and I was like, Yep. <laughs> that is so funny, yeah. I'm Sawyer. Yeah, it's the best. It's nice nice to meet you. Angelique, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. We walk by a lot. So Good. We'll, we'll be, be out here. Yeah, we'll be sitting out here a lot. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Well, nice to meet you. Nice guys. to meet you. Nice Have a good walk. <laughs> well, we'll try. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it is very hot. <laughs> that may be the best idea we have ever had. It is so cute. It makes me so happy. It just feels like southern living. You know what it I mean? Is. Yeah. It's our 40 pound half grown lap dog. Yeah, I don't know how this happened. Oh. But come here. Oh. But come here. Hi baby. Oh. Hi. Mm. You guys are pretty cute. Yeah. You guys are cute. This is what our days have been consisting of. A whole lot of this and it's really nice. Whole lot of this, a whole and lot of hard work, work, but it's paying off. Oh. And we are so happy. <laughs> there, yeah. You are just so sweet. A little bit of a Clydesdale, but it's not bad. I no. Do not regret moving back to Vero at all. Hi, sweetheart. You've turned into my mama's girl, huh? You keep telling yourself that. You say that, but she's going to be sleeping under my desk here soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She won't fit under your desk. Mm -hmm. So I was going to film me cooking dinner, but somehow <laughs> me warming up pretty much a pre-made a pre -made meal did yep. not seem cooking interesting. Cooking numbers on the microwave doesn't sound really appealing. You know, it still has to be heated up in a pan. I'm just, you know, I was filming all day. I still got to cook you dinner. Cut the jewelry child. Yeah. Bonjour. No, I wish. One day we'll get there. But um yeah. <laughs> 35 seconds. No. But yeah, today was a hot and humid one. We got a lot done. We yeah, I don't need to recap. You guys already watched. <laughs> that is another little day in our life. We got a lot done. I am so happy with the progress that we are making and just how everything's turning out. And I just I just know this week will be a good week. We have a lot coming up, like placing even more furniture and the closets and decor, and I'm just excited. I'm so happy with how the chairs turned out and how with how the fence and front porch swing has turned out. I guess it's a tree swing at this point. Um, but yeah, we're just happy. I know I've already said that, but it's true. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna cook dinner, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.